mommy and daddy are billionaires, so I know it's going to be a hundred... Five? Honey! Quiet. I just want to know one thing. Why is our rich score so low? Sweetie, I've gone bankrupt. Bankrupt? But daddy, you're a billionaire. He made a bad investment. I'm sorry, honey. <sighs> well, what are we supposed to do now? Just live like peasants? I can't let anyone know about this. Why is your score private? It's just so high that I, I don't want to make other people jealous. Please let us see your score. No, you're being sus. Mommy, Daddy, we have a huge problem. What? What? Well, you remember my super rich friend Ashley? The one who's friends with Elon Musk? Mm hmm Well, her daddy is in charge of these richness score scales, and she said she's gonna have him make our percentage score public. I'm sorry, Pumpkin. I know this is hard. Why are my Gucci shoes in a for sale box? If we sell them, our percentage could go up. Okay, do what you must, because my social status is on the line. Good news, someone bought them on eBay. It only went up 2%. That wasn't worth it. I want my Gucci shoes back. Why did you have to go bankrupt, Daddy? Now tomorrow, I'm gonna be publicly humiliated. I can't stand to see her like this. The truth is, Daddy didn't actually go bankrupt. You two lied to me? Yes, because we didn't want you to worry. About what? Recently, some bad men threatened to take you away from us if we didn't pay them billions. And you listened to them? I had to. Daddy, I would think you would know better. This isn't a joke, Pumpkin. I know these men. They would really come for you. Enough. Have they received the money? The transfer is still pending, but this is why our score is so low. Cancel that transfer. If I do that, they're gonna get really upset. Cancel it right now, Daddy, or... or I'm gonna scream. Okay, alright. It's cancelled. We have a hundred percent? I can't wait to show the girls. It's not safe for you to be out in public right now. Daddy, I will be fine. Just hire me some bodyguards. Your score is going public in three, two... <gasps> what? You have a hundred percent? Aw, and it looks like you both are only in the 90s. <sighs> Miss, we need to get you out of here. We have a code red. Who's that man behind you? Brooke, run! <sighs> Todd! How dare you? He was my favorite bodyguard. Are you Brooke Evans? Um, no. Take a... <gasps> Let me go, you jerks! Read this. I am not reading that. Yes, you will. Hi, Daddy. This is Brookie. Unfortunately, I have been kidnapped, and I'm sorry, can we cut? The lighting is just so bad. Just read the script. Okay, geez. Hi, Daddy. They are saying that they want 1.2... I can't read that. Ugh. What? I don't have my contacts. All right, that's enough. Ow. Send us the money, or you're not going to see her again. You better not have ripped out my hair. Be quiet, or we're going to get the duct tape. I'm hungry. Can you guys get me some Starbucks or something? Who do you think we are, Uber Eats? <sighs> Back to being a peasant. Okay, guys, they transferred the money. Now let me go. Change of plans. <laughs> We're bringing you to a new location. But that wasn't the deal. Someone else gave us a better offer for you. Hey, Brooke. Todd, you're... Shh, quiet. They're asleep. Huh? Hey, what do you think you're doing? Get back. You don't want to mess with me. I'm an ex-Navy SEAL. What's that supposed to mean, huh? It means he's gonna kick your ass. I'd like to see him troll! <laughs> yes, Todd, get them! <clears throat> time to wake up. Hello, Maya. I've waited a long time to meet you. Where am I? Like I'm gonna tell you that. What do you want from me? He just wants to talk. Shut up, John. I wasn't talking to you. Wow, John, you were right. She is feisty. So listen. I got questions, and if you don't give me answers, things are gonna get ugly. Do whatever you want. I'm not saying anything. Maya, don't do this. Nah, John, it's fine. This is gonna be fun. Say it! <sighs> John, hand me that knife. Okay, wait. I'll tell you. Alright, so then tell me who your target was the day you met John. Rick. Rick Lawson. You see, John? Her team has been on to us since the beginning. Ricky didn't just disappear. You killed him, didn't you? He, he left me no choice. <clears throat> Liar. Let's give her a break. A break? She's now a threat to our entire organization. She's done. Wait a minute. This is not what we discussed. She killed Ricky. Sir, listen to me. No, you listen. You're doing this. You want me to... Should I tell the head leader you can't complete the job? That won't be necessary. 
Now, before I kill her, my- You're not gonna touch her ever again. You killed him. I'm gonna get you out of here. Officer, I'm telling you, you've got the wrong guy. I'm the only one who lives here. Yeah, well, I've searched the whole place. I haven't seen anything. Right, the missing girl's obviously not here. It seems so, but you match the description of the kidnapper. There's definitely been a mistake. Down here! I'm down here! What was that? Wait a minute, don't- Oh my god. You found me. Ma'am, stay right there. Mr. Hart, you're under arrest. Thank you so much for finding me. He's had me here for two years. He's been controlling your words. What? Yes, ma'am. We found this illegal device on him that steals people's words. That would explain why every year I would only get three words. Go on. Say it. I love you. And he made me say I loved him. Hey, come here! Ugh. You don't deserve to sp- Ugh. Get back here. The only one that doesn't deserve to speak is you. That's right, and she's keeping your words permanently. Now you finally see what it feels like to not have a voice. It doesn't feel good, does it? Prison's gonna be real fun for him. Ugh. You're finally free now. Alright, Mr. Hart, let's go. Any last words before you go off to prison? <sighs> oh wait, you don't have any. <laughs> so, how many words you get for the year? Only three again. Aw, oh, might as well use them up. Come on. I love you. And I love you more. Hi, what can I get you today? She doesn't have any words, miss, but I'll order for her. She's just gonna have a salad, but I'm gonna get a cheeseburger, double fries. Babe, you're looking kind of pale today. You wanna get your makeup done? Yeah, you do. Come on, let's go. I love this color on you. Me too. Hey, babe, show her the bruise. Any chance you can cover that? She's so clumsy. Oh, yeah, totally. We can take care of that. Sir, would you want to buy the concealer I use on her? Actually, yeah, that'd be great. I'll go pay for this. You stay here. I love this. He can't hear us anymore. Here, take some words. Please, you can trust me. Is something wrong? He can't hear you right now. He's not my boyfriend. He's not, is he? I knew it. Okay, listen, I'm going to get help for you. But I'm gonna need you to give me some more information. He's coming. Okay, got the concealer. Time to go. Sir, wait. You can be adopted by a single father or a single mother. Do you want to do single father? No. No men. Mean. Oh, okay. Miss, that's her over there. Why is she wearing a hospital gown? We found her in it and she won't take it off. Honey, this is the single mom that's gonna adopt you. Say hi. She doesn't know how to talk too well. Poor thing. Hi, I'm gonna be your mom. Mom? Yes, you're gonna come live with me now. Come on, let's go. Don't be scared. You can trust me. Honey, you're gonna have to change out of that. No. Yes, you need to. Sweetheart, please. Mom, maybe I can try and talk to her. Hi, I'm your new big sister. Sister? Yeah, do you want to come and maybe see my room and then we can- Oh, yeah, I'm real. <laughs> so, this is my room. Nice. Also here, I want to give you this. It's a tank top and it's super fuzzy and pretty. Pretty? Yeah, you should totally try it on. I think it would look super cute on you. See, you look so pretty. My mom said they found you on the side of the road. How did that- Bad men. Oh. Do you want to talk about- No? Okay. <sighs> Dinner's ruined, girls. The chicken's still frozen. I can help. What is she- <gasps> Oh my what gosh, oh my gosh! What is she- <gasps> Oh my what gosh, oh my gosh! How did she do she that? She has powers? Oh my god. <sighs> mad? No, no, honey. We're not mad. We're just a little shocked. No hurt. What? No, no one's gonna hurt you. Those bad men that you were telling me about, did they hurt you? Mom, it's probably because of her powers. That's horrible. Don't worry, we're gonna keep you safe here. So, can you do anything else, honey? Lift. Heavy. Can you show us what you mean? Whoa. Oh my gosh, she's lifting me up. That's incredible. Strong. Yes, you are very strong. Do you have any other powers that we should know about? One more. Wind. Wind? What is- Mom, I think she's trying to show us. Get out of the way. Oh, alright. She wants us to move. How is she doing that? Wow. I stay? Of course you can stay here, honey. But we can never tell anyone or show anyone your powers. Do you understand? Okay, good. Mom, why are you smiling so much? Don't tell me you're still talking to that guy. Well, I can't be a single mom forever. Would it be okay if I invited him over for dinner? It's fine with me, but- No, no men. Bad. Honey, men aren't all bad. 
He's gonna be here right now, honey. Can you please just give him a chance? I promise everything will be fine. The girls are down here. This is my friend Dan. Hey, how are you? Girls are down here. This is my friend Dan. Hey, how are you? Bad, bad man. Mean. Dan, I'm sorry. She has a fear of men. Oh, poor thing. Hey, it's okay. Oh, sweetie. Mom, maybe I should take her upstairs. You want to come with me? Come on, let's go. Poor kid. Don't you want to try to talk to him? No, I fight. I kill him. <gasps> hey, stop. You can't do that. I didn't mean to yell, but you can't hurt people with your powers. Hey, kid, I was telling your mom that I'm a therapist and I'd like to help you. Lie. Can I have some time alone to talk to her? Sure, Dan. She really needs help. It's okay. You're gonna be fine. We'll just be a few minutes. Hey, look at me. I really missed you. Hey, watch it. You know what happens when you act up. I spent a long time looking for you. What happened to your mom because she didn't listen? Dead. So what do you think's gonna happen to your new mom if you don't listen? Dead. So what are you gonna say when we go out there? Nothing. Good girl. Dan, are you sure about this? I'm just gonna take her for a relaxing car ride to get her used to me, you know? Honey, are you sure that's okay? She's fine with it. Right? Finally, we're back to the lab. Now give me that. Uh, no. Ugh, I forgot how strong you are. Let go, or you're going to the mean doctor. Okay, kid, now you're gonna have to change back into this. Keep? No, that goes off. Please? I said take it off. Now go change. I change. I told you to take off that- Laura, hey. Mom. You say one word and you're done. I'm gonna take the phone off mute and you're gonna stay silent. Dan, is everything okay? Sorry about that. Yeah, she's doing great. Oh, really? Help, mm. honey. Sweetheart. Sorry, Laura. She's- Oh, oh. oh you broke my hand, you little- oh. Oh. I escape again. Oh. Honey, someone please answer me. Mom, come find- What? What's happening? Mom, Dan probably kidnapped her. Sissy, where are you? Sweetie, where are you? Room. Okay, honey, we need more details. What does it look like? White. Mom, she barely knows how to talk. Okay, um, do you know how to dial 911? I... Sorry, Laura. You won't be seeing her anymore. Hurt. Dan, what did you do? Goodbye. Honey. Doctor, I, I found the girl, but we gotta hurry up because she's gonna wake up any minute. Well, look who's waking up. I heard you have been a very bad girl today. You have broken Dr. Dan's hand, so now you must wear restraints. You will not escape ever again. Let. Me. Go. Watch out for lasers! <laughs> Get the glasses, quickly! Bad kid. <sighs> Hurry, doctor, put them on. No, no. That sedation is not strong enough for her. We're gonna have to get her with the tranquilizer. I'd be good, please. No, you are going to sleep. We need more blood. Okay, let's go get the equipment. Honey, I'm here. I tracked Dan's phone. What did they- Hey, get uh, away from her! Uh, Dan, stop it! You shouldn't have come here, Laura. Uh, how could you do this? Mom! Sorry, kid, but I'm gonna have to get rid of your new mom now. And you'll be too weak to stop me. No. I... Strong. That's right, honey. Get him. No, stop! Oh, mouth is going- oh. You. Dead. Oh my gosh, Mom. I'm okay, honey. Mom. Sissy. You find. Yeah, we're so happy we found you. Come here, honey. Hold my hand. We go home? Yeah, we're gonna go- <gasps> Mom, there's a man in that glass tank. Dad! He dead. Oh my. Mom, it kind of looks like he's- <gasps> Oh, he's alive. There's a man in that glass tank. Dad! That's your father? He dead. Oh my. I don't know, it kind of looks like he's still- <sighs> He's alive. Mener, Sen. Sir, we don't understand you. Apana, no. Bien dare. Kill. Ma, sa, family. Huh? No hurt. No hurt. Speak English. Sir, we're just trying to help. You help. Yes, I care for your daughter. She adapt, sissy. It's called adopt. Adopt me. Huh. New mother. She's pretty. Apan. <laughs> what is she saying? She thinks that I should be your husband. <laughs> well, she is a single mother. Honey, stop. Mom, we go home? They have helped us enough. 
We leave them alone. Sir, we don't mind. We want to keep you safe. See? They nice. Fine. We shall go with them. Yay! There's the exit. I can't open. I still weak. Get back. He just ripped off the door. How did he? He very strong. Guess you got your jeans from him. <laughs> Mom, I hungry. Kara, how do we say it the right way? I am hungry. Good, what do you want? Mac and cheese. <laughs> Sissy, help me warm it up. Okay. She is cute. I think she gets it from you. Someone has a crush. <laughs> Pop, that's my water. I hope you don't mind it has lemon. Lemon? But I'm allergic to lemon. What? She is not. I've seen her drink lemonade. Rachel, she's obviously having a reaction. Girl, you don't have like an EpiPen or something? No, I, I didn't bring mine today. Well, that was dumb. I'm gonna go see if I can find a teacher. Rachel, hurry. It's getting really hard for me to breathe. Where the heck did Rachel go? She's supposed to be getting help. Jeez, I can barely breathe. Okay, we gotta get you help. There's a hospital down the street. Come on. Someone please help. She's having an allergic reaction. Bring her over here. We'll take care of her. This way. Hurry. Jace. Lindsay? Oh, thank God you're okay. The doctor said that I'm free to walk around for a little bit. Oh, good. Do you need me to call your parents or anything? No, I've already tried. My parents are both actors and they're on a plane right now to Spain to shoot a movie. Oh, well. Whoa. Sorry. It's okay. You should probably go back and sit down. Yeah, probably. Easy now. And I want you to know I'm covering all your medical bills. You didn't have to- It's the least that I can do, Lindsay. Really. Also, I brought this for you. I remember you said it was special to you. Thanks. I also got you a few things, too. Those enough? Because I could buy more. Yeah, I think- I think this is good. Thank you. Hey, you made me a millionaire. I literally owe you everything. And I'm sorry. Hey, get back here! <sighs> Officer, wait, see? She's fine! I don't need to go to juvie! Jeez, help me out! Sorry, Rachel. Really hope you learn your lesson. Come on, let's get out of here. Uh, no! I need to talk to you. Um, sorry. Jace is busy. Back off, Rachel. This is important. Listen, the only reason that you're rich, Jace, is because of me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm being serious. You saw something on the floor and told me to look. That's it. I was the one that got the ticket for you and put it for you on the floor. Girl, you need to stop lying. It's embarrassing. It says it above my head. Oh, you want to know what sucks? Only you can see that. You're in love with Jace, admit it. I am not. Right, so all this is not you trying to get his attention? Girl, be for real. Yo, Jace. What's up? Looks like Lindsay was telling the truth. Check out this video. Dude, wait. What's, what's that on the floor over there? Huh? So she did throw the lottery ticket on the floor for me? Yeah. Damn it, I gotta go talk to her. Jace, it looks like she needs water. Maybe give her this? Yeah, okay. Hey, I saw the viral video. I'm really sorry. So what you're saying is it took video proof for you to believe me? Nice. Wait, I want to make it up to you. I literally owe you big time. I'll buy you anything. I don't know. Don't you want to go hang with Rachel and all her friends? Not really. Uh-huh. Well, I'm going to go get some water. Hang on. It's funny you say that because I have some right here. Are you sure that this was just water? I mean, yeah, Rachel gave it to me. Rachel? What? Yeah, she just said you looked thirsty. Girly Pop, that's my water. I hope you don't mind it has lemon. Lemon? But I'm allergic to lemon. What? Get a winning lottery ticket or give a winning lottery ticket. I mean, my parents, they're already millionaires, but a little extra cash never hurt. Excuse me, do you have any money? My parents abandoned me and... I'm sorry, I, I shouldn't have bothered you. Wait! He needs this. I pick this one. Hey, wait up! Dude, wait. What's, what's that on the floor over there? Huh? What the heck? What is this? It looks like a lottery ticket. You should probably scratch it, you know, and see if you won anything. You think? Okay. No way. No freaking way! I won! Well, congrats. You should probably go cash that in. I just won a million dollars. What was your name? Uh, my name's Jace. I'm Lindsay. It's really nice to meet you. Did you hear about the super attractive guy that transferred here? No. It doesn't matter. Rachel snatched him up anyways. Of course she did. She literally gets all the guys. Surprise! Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Jace? Huh? Are you his friend? Well, I thought he was my friend. I just met her. Hey, what's this? That's not funny. This is special to me. Let go! Relax! No, dude, let go! Aw, oh, poor baby. Whatever, she's no fun. Who wants to go shopping at Gucci with me? Me, me. I do. What happened to you? What can I say? Money changes people. Yeah. I'm gonna need both of you to come with me. No thanks. <sighs> Mom, did you just kill him? No, he's still alive. We need to question him. Go get the duct tape. 
There, he's not going anywhere. Ugh. Hey, what are you guys doing? We want to know who you work for and why we found this inside of our ears. Show him. I... I don't know what you're talking about. If you won't talk, we'll sing. Wait, Mom, we can't do that. Yes, we can, honey. We don't have the chips in our ears anymore. It won't hurt us, but it'll hurt him. Just keep your eyes closed. No, hey, wait a minute. Are you... are you... Coming into the tree Where dead men called out For his love to flee Strange... Oh, wait, stop. I'll tell you. I work for a secret government organization. We put chips in everyone's ears and wipe their memories of it. By making singing lethal, it was a way for us to control the public. This is horrible. We have to tell everyone. Go ahead, honey. We're live. We have all been lied to. The government has been putting these in our ears. That's why singing kills us. But if you take them out, singing will no longer kill anyone and we can be free. We did it, Bria. We're all saved. A carousel music box. It was blue. You gave it to me. Wait. Let her go. I need to get something to show her. This was one of the few things that survived the fire. I had it restored. I bought it as a gift for my granddaughter. You couldn't have known about that unless... It's me, Grandma. Oh, Annalise, it is you. I recognize your eyes. I'm so sorry. I begged the gods to go look for you. It's okay. How are you alive? What happened? I can barely remember. Sweetheart, can you remember anything about what happened to you? What your name is? What your parents' names are? I don't remember anything. We have a code red. So you survived the fire and woke up in a hospital with amnesia. I am so sorry, but what's important is we're together now. Grandma, I actually wouldn't have been able to find you if it wasn't for him. Oh, really? What is your name? My name is Eric, Your Majesty. I can't thank you enough, Eric. Why aren't you a handsome young man? Ah, uh, thanks. It is my honor to restore my granddaughter's title of Princess Annalise. Long live the princess. Stay here. Um, Julian, wait. I'll be right back. Great. Now I can't even move from this spot. Jillian? What are you doing? Move out of the way! Oh my gosh, thank you. So, you're the girl that's cursed to do whatever she's told. How do you know about that? Uh, you haven't seen the tweet? Jillian knew about my curse? Yeah, she tweeted it to the whole school. Now everyone's gonna try and take advantage of me. It's gonna be okay. Our curses only last for 24 hours. Tomorrow you'll get a new one. You have got to be kidding me. Hey, give me your lunch money. I know you can't resist. <laughs> give that back. Stand back and don't talk to me anymore. Slap yourself. Ah. Now, punch yourself. <laughs> Jillian, what is your problem? You should know. Don't listen to Jillian. Thanks. This whole curse thing just isn't... Want to give Jillian your curse permanently? What? Hey, is everything okay? Um, not really. My dog passed away today. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I know exactly how you're feeling. About a year ago, I lost my goldfish, Billy, and it's just been such a hard time for me trying to keep going on. And my therapist says, you know, you just gotta keep swimming. Like, just keep doing what Billy couldn't. And yeah, I, I gotta go. <laughs> Ugh, I really strained my wrist in volleyball today. Oh my gosh, you know, my grandma actually has arthritis and sometimes I feel like I can feel her pain by her talking about it. Like, does my wrist feel warm? I, I feel like it's aching. Like, uh, my boyfriend broke up with me today. I remember when my boyfriend broke up with me, he just ghosted me out of the blue. Granted, he wasn't really aware that he was my boyfriend. Like, mm. <laughs> a couple months back, Justin Bieber started ghosting me. He wasn't responding to Wait, my I'm DMs. I'm sorry, Justin Bieber? Yeah, I mean, he never responded to my DMs, but it felt like a relationship to me. And that heartbreak hit different, you know? You're gonna make it through this too. Like, it's not like as bad as your dog dying. Mm. More behind the scenes of my chaotic filming. <laughs> Please, you have to tell me to kiss you. It's still bad. It's because the it's line is so cringy, I can't say it. Well, it's nice to meet you, Ruby. I'm Rapunzel, daughter of... What? <laughs> I said the wrong thing. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock! It was at this moment that he knew. We're told we have to do what we're told, but surely... Really, babe? The mafia? You know, you're sorry. <laughs>
I know a play we can- a play? <laughs> I know a play? <laughs> Alright, bet. But- <laughs> I'm so sorry. Alright, bet. But wait, what is my line? Alright, bet. But we gotta be careful who we can trust. <laughs> do it again, do it again, do it again. Do it again. Okay. Go on, sing. You should know that my hair's magic isn't as strong as my mother's. It doesn't matter, now say the words, I'm running out of time. Make the clock reverse. What the? Step away from the princess. Pirate. Jack. Hello, love. Hey, what do you think you're doing? It's called winning, mate. Hey! Is that Snow White boxes you have on? Shut up. Oh. Oh. Just wait until my parents find out what you did. I owe you an apology. My scale was not moving towards evil because you were evil. It was moving towards evil because I was judging you based on who your parents were. I'm sorry. It's alright, love. My father, Captain Hook, does have quite the bad reputation. I'm just glad that you're safe. Hey. You're bleeding. It's just a scrape. Must have happened on my climb over here. Well, I do have magic hair that heals, so why don't I just sing the song? Well, wait just a minute, love. Because I reckon your lips are going to be a bit busy. Only talking in viral TikTok sounds was really annoying. Let's hope this new curse isn't as bad. Must do everything you're... Oh, come on. I can't believe how bad your report card was. I told you I was sorry. You're still grounded for two weeks. What? Come on, how is that even fair? That's enough. Not another word from you, young lady. Mm. Stop fooling mm. around and go to school. Why haven't you been talking at all? You've been super quiet. Mm. What? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Huh? Can you just say something? Thank you so much. You are a literal lifesaver. That's such a cute squishmallow. You should just give it to me. Oh my gosh, thank you. <laughs> Actually, I, I didn't mean to give you that. Uh, just let me keep it. Okay, you can keep it. Thank you, girly. I always wanted this one. Wait here. Jillian, wait. I'll be right back. Great, now I can't move. Hey, sweetie, Merry Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Who is she? You know, I was about to ask you the same thing, but you look really familiar. Are you a model or something? Uh, Actually, yes. Figures. I'm sorry, babe, but this girl was just leaving. But you said- No, stay. I think you're gonna want to see this. I actually got him a little something. Here you go, sweetheart. Thanks. Oh, wait, but first, before you open that, I believe this is mine, right? Uh-huh. That's your Gucci bag. That's the one you wanted, right? Yes, it is. Thank you. Okay, go ahead and open yours. All right. What's this? Receipts of things that I bought this week. Baby, 10k worth of stuff? Oh, baby, you and I both know that you can afford it. Oh, and there's a card in there, too. Go ahead and read that. Roses are red, violets are blue, you're a dirty, rotten cheater, I'm breaking up with you? Merry Christmas. <laughs> Girl, let's get out of here. I'm right behind you. Wait! Ladies, I'll buy you anything! No amount of money is worth being with him. Goodbye. I think that I am the princess, and I need your help to take me back to the queen. The thing is, they won't just let anyone into the castle. We have to convince them that you're royalty. But how would I do that? I have an idea. Come on, we're going shopping. Are you sure this outfit isn't too much? No, I think it's perfect. It shows the queen that you know how to dress like a princess. If you say so. Wait here. The queen will see you in just a moment. Hey, it's gonna be alright. She'll remember you. Grandma, I thought I'd never- See me again. I've heard it all before. Tell me something that only my Annalise would know. Well, I can't exactly do that because a lot of my memories got lost, but- I remember you. Stop. My heart can't take this anymore. She's just another girl pretending to be my granddaughter. Take her away. No, please. I came all this way to see you. I'm sure I can remember something. Let's go. <sighs> A carousel music box. It was blue. You gave it to me. Wait. Hey, kid. Want some candy? Yes! Okay. Just follow me over here and I'll give you some. Ow! You're hurting my ears! Ah, oh, come on. Don't be afraid. Follow me. <gasps> Get away from her! We're leaving. I told you not to talk to strangers. I'm sorry. Where's your headphones? I lost them. You what? I just bought you those. Remember, whispering is deadly. Getting ready for school? Yep. If you hear any whispering at all... I know, I know. Put on my headphones. Mom, I got this. So, prom's coming up. Yeah. I was just wondering if you... Would want to come with me to prom? 
That's not funny. <laughs> oh, what's wrong? Excuse me. Brienne? Hello? I'm so sorry, Miss Sanders. See me after class. I'm confiscating your headphones. Oh, but my mom said... Zip! Hand them over, you'll get them back later. I want to show you a video before you go. Hi.